Um, okay, so, all right, so it came time for my yearly woman exam, and this year I decided I wanted a new doctor. I wanted someone that was going to listen to me, somebody that um, would actually, you know, pretend that they care a little bit that I'm struggling with infertility. I've gotten so much um, of people, doctors saying, oh, you're so young, don't worry about it. But after like years and years and years of nothing, uh, of course I started to wonder. So I went on a hunt for a new doctor, and I knew the kind of doctor I was looking for. I wanted a doctor that had adopted because I knew that if they adopted, most likely they have been in my shoes before and struggled with infertility. So, what you know, I found one. And this doctor was wonderful. Um, I went and saw her. I went and talked to her. She was, oh, she's amazing. Um, she did my, my like pap smear and everything. And um, she, her and I talked for a long time. We talked about our struggles and our adoption and everything. And um, so she told me that she was going to do everything in her power. We, we were going to, she gave me hope, you know. She told me she, we were going to figure out what's wrong. So she sent me down to the lab to get a ton of lab work done. And about a week later, <laughs> she called me and she said, well, everything looks good. Um, your pap smear, everything felt right, looked right, everything is normal except for one thing. I said, well, what one thing is that? And she said that I'm severely, severely vitamin D deficiency. Like D as in dog, vitamin D deficient. Well, I don't, <laughs> I, I, at first I was a little shocked. I was like, well, do I just need to go live out in the backyard naked or something? And she said that I'm so deficient it wouldn't matter because I'm just, I don't, my body just doesn't store it, I guess. And I said, well, should I go to the store and buy some? And she said, well, in most multivitamins, there's only about, um, I think she said 600 units in in the bottle and the highest you can buy just vitamin D by itself is 2,000 units so she um, she told me she was gonna call in a prescription for me and for 50,000 units of um, vitamin D so I thought, wow, that's a lot. She said that my vitamin D level was less than 20, which is severely low. Um, and I asked her, like, how come this was never discovered before? And she said, well, it's just not something that they normally check for in your yearly checkup. You know, it's just not, it's a vitamin. You know, it's, it's kind of rare to have it so low. But given how pale I am and given that I don't drink milk or anything like that, and I'm, I kind of just eat the same foods over and over and over, um, she kind of felt compelled to test it out. Um, so I found this study, and I'm going to post the link below, but I'm going to kind of read this. Uh, a new study conducted at Yale revealed that vitamin D deficiency is strongly correlated with infertility. Most likely, it causes infertility. And rather than... Rather than infertile women being pumped full of chemicals. Gosh, I kind of get emotional about this. Um, for conventional infertility treatments, what they really need is safe, simple, low-cost vitamin D. <laughs> um, I just can't believe that all these years it was a vitamin. I mean, I'm just I'm grateful that it wasn't something more but it just kind of confirmed to me that I was meant to adopt first. Okay, anyways, I'll keep coming. Um, uh, okay, 93% of women with infertility issues are vitamin D deficient. Um, let's see, what else did I find? There's just, you know, I just couldn't believe it. There's so many um, studies out there on this that I never knew about, never knew about. I guess it, it um, messes with your ovulation. 
and um, <laughs> who would have known? So anyways, I've started taking my vitamin D and my first dose of 50,000 units, I was severely dizzy and nauseous and my body kind of felt weird because it was in shock. Um, and I do, I've started going outside every day for at least 10 minutes. Not naked, but I do go outside. And um, I have to go back in three months and get um, checked again. So, I don't know, it just really gave me a lot of hope. Um, so, next time you go to your doctor, if you're struggling with infertility, like, demand a vitamin D test. Because if you can search... I'm going to post some links below, but there's so much research, like new research on how vitamin D affects infertility that, I mean, I just, I could not believe it. Like, here's something else. Um, for your body to produce uh, sex hormones, and without the right amount of hormones in your system, you can suffer all sorts of problems. Vitamin D is a key, is a, vitamin D is a key in regulating cell growth and deciding how those cells grow. Um, it's just, there's just so much, but, like, finally, I feel like I have hope a little bit. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm just going to hop in and start trying to get pregnant because I need to adopt one more child. I feel it in my bones, and I got to do that. So, um, yeah, get your vitamin D levels checked. Save yourself the pain of almost seven years. And, um, yeah, sorry I got kind of emotional, but it's just been a really long roller coaster. And for it to finally have a face to a name, I mean, I don't know how else to put it, but, um, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Bye. Good luck.